I would like first to acknowledge um, Harry Killis, who's the principal investigator on this project. He's at Emily Carr University. And the graduate research assistants um, who are working with us, John Ames and Hai Kyung Lee from ECPS. And finally, the funding from SHRC for this Insight Development Grant. We are doing foundational work um, in preparation for a larger project. The purpose of the Super Kids 2 project is to begin to trace the life trajectories of a group of adolescents identified in school as highly gifted. These students and their parents participated in the documentary film Super Kids, directed by Harry Killis in 2004. The film portrayed the process of decision making regarding application to a program designed to prepare them for radically early entrance to university. The students' and parents' rich um, stories were rich provocations for discussions about educational and career decision making and the developmental pathways of highly able individuals. Using film and social science methodologies, we are revisiting the super kids and their parents nine years later in this project. This kind of longitudinal study has not been done this way before. Generally, um, the approaches taken are quantitative with a focus on um, test scores, uh, occupational outcomes. Um, when we do hear the stories, they are often, uh, mostly often, um, author narrated, so we have not heard the participant stories in this way, and film brings a particular power, we feel, to those stories. The themes emerging from analysis of master tapes and transcripts of super kids and the work we're doing currently, which are preliminary interviews followed by film test interviews um, done in the last past six months, include the social emotional impact of accelerated learning, what it's like to be a learner who is very different from the norm and who is educated outside mainstream settings and both the challenges and the benefits that accrue from um, this kind of learning. We've also heard from participants uh, their views on education and the education system, their views on accelerated learning, and on testing, psychoeducational testing. Uh, we have heard from them about their present and future goals, to what extent they feel um, their education and their past experiences have been brought forward um, into their present in productive ways. We're learning about their views on giftedness and their perspectives on what it means to be successful. So we are learning about development and education from these young adults in very rich, deep ways. They can articulate perspectives on important life transitions that inform us about development and education of highly able individuals in particular. But what they have to say also informs us more generally about developmental milestones and what it means to be educated. Thank you. <laughs>